In the realm of sister wives, Robin Brown finds herself entangled in controversy once again, accused of orchestrating a scheme related to her nanny's COVID-19 status. Critics allege that Robin's manipulative tendencies are surfacing yet again, suggesting she exploited the pandemic to gain control within the family. Meanwhile, her absence from social media following the tragic loss of Garrison Brown, coupled with her positioning at his funeral beside Cody instead of alongside Janelle, raises eyebrows. Supporters and detractors alike scrutinize Robin's actions, particularly her alleged role in the family's struggles after relocating to Flagstaff. Speculation swirls around her motives, with some accusing her of undermining the principles of polygamy. The recent allegation that she fabricated her nanny's COVID diagnosis further fuels suspicions of her intentions to drive a wedge within the family. As for Mary Brown, while grieving the loss of Garrison, she appears noticeably slimmer, intensifying concerns about her well-being. Following her divorce from Cody, Mary has focused on her health and expanding her business ventures. Despite romantic setbacks, she remains resilient, seeking solace in her entrepreneurial pursuits and the support of her community. As she navigates grief and transitions in her personal life, Mary's journey continues to captivate sister wives enthusiasts, offering insights into her resilience and determination. Welcome to A Creative Night Shows, where the drama unfolds and the stories captivate. Join us as we delve into the intriguing world of A Sister Wives, revealing the untold tales and hidden truths behind the headlines. Why Supporters Believe Robin Brown Invented Nanny's COVID-19 Status Robin Brown, star of Sister Wives, has a new problem after being exposed for yet another major lie from years ago. The 45-year-old has come under fire for allegedly manipulating Cody to make choices that are solely advantageous to her and her kids. When mom started to lose control of the family during the epidemic, several Redditors believe she took matters into her own hands. See the startling conversation by continuing to watch. What's up with Robin Brown today, sister wives? Robin has not posted anything on her social media platforms since the terrible death of the Brown family in March. The Sister Wives actress showed up for Garrison's funeral with Cody by her side, which sparked a lot of controversy because some thought the patriarch of the Brown family should have been seated next to Janelle, the bereaved mother. Regarding what transpired with the Brown family when they relocated to Flagstaff, many supporters remain incensed. However, a few Redditors believe Robin was a major factor in their difficulties. She was also criticized by others for separating her family from the Brown family and ignoring the benefits of polygamy. The reasons behind Robin's allegation that her nanny had COVID On Reddit, a few Sister Wives followers talked about the potential that Robin Brown had lied about her nanny having COVID. The poster claimed that they were viewing an old episode about Ariella's birthday, in which the family had to take a test before they could celebrate together. But the Reddit commenter believed Robin's assertion that her nanny's COVID test result was a bad deception. The commenter conjectured that Robin was using it as a means of dividing the family. Nobody other heard the nanny talk or saw what was said. According to the poster, Robin's initial statement on the VT was something like, well, I guess that's the end of us all getting together again, it's too dangerous. Some concurred with the conjecture and thought Cody's fourth wife would stop at nothing to sever the family. Some others brought up the nanny's illness at that time and expressed suspicions about it. Although I'm not sure if the nanny genuinely had COVID, something about it seems fishy to me. After throwing a lavish celebration for Ariella, they had to retreat once more right away. If the nanny was indeed carrying COVID, then Cody and Robin were given exactly what they want by chance. I think it's more likely that they told lies about it. I'd believe that more if the nanny had just been exposed to it. Everyone tested negative and she truly had it and was supposed to be working one-on-one -on -one with the kids when she came over? It doesn't seem likely. The issue is that while liars will always lie, every 10 years they will also speak the truth. 
but nobody believes them because they are liars. Personally, I think it's more slob and lies and call BS on it. However, who can say for sure? Is Robin Brown separating her child from the Brown family in Sister Wives? Additionally, some Sister Wives fans think Robin is still acting like she's trying to keep her own family apart from everyone else's. This occurs after Robin doesn't bring any of her children to Garrison's burial. And further Reddit post talked about Robin Brown's kids not being there for the depressing family get-together. While they were mourning the loss of their stepbrother, some felt guilty about the kids receiving protection from their mother. Which Robin's children were present at Garrison's memorial. None of them appear in any of the photos, in my opinion. Robin would never let any of her children go, she protects them from everything and anything even slightly uncomfortable. Her kids seem to need real help, I said. Return here for all your updates if you're seeking for more Sister Wives news. Sister Wives, Mary Brown updates fans in real time and drops a few jaws. Mary Brown, actress of Sister Wives, mixed humor with serious remarks and some hilarious asides in her most recent update on her life away from the TLC program. But with a few of her innuendos, she was able to make a few people in the audience gasp. She also shared something about grieving for Garrison Brown that had just occurred to her. So, on a live stream on Friday night, Mary gave a mixed bag of updates from her bed and breakfast in Utah. Sister Wives, Mary Brown's Take on the World Mary Brown describes it as she perceives it. She is aware that not everyone finds her appealing. But she's okay with that. As the first wife in the Sister Wives family, she once donned the headgear. She has therefore dealt with unfavorable remarks on numerous occasions. She endured years of hurtful remarks, but she never got used to it. Even now, those terrible zingers hurt. She is grateful for the encouragement she has received from numerous other fans, though, and carries on. Friday Nights with Friends, Mary's live venue, attracts a lot of people to her Instagram profile. Mary's best friend Jen Sullivan co-hosts. These two are a comedic duo since they complement one another. Compared to what you see in the Sister Wives series, it's totally different. These two have the ability to provide interest to even the most routine life activities. And that's just what they accomplished this past weekend when they touched on topics that piqued viewers' curiosity. A very vague location. Mary Brown's concert opens with Mary and Jen crammed close to one another. They may both be seen on the screen of their cell phone thanks to this. However, all too frequently, one of them is cut off, usually Jen. This week, Mary Brown's dog barked uncontrollably when she spoke to her admirers. There would occasionally be a shadow seen by Sister Wives fans. Jen clarified that her husband owned the shadow. While he waited for his spouse to finish, the poor man wandered the outer grounds. However, the fans later discovered that her spouse was outside, which is why the dog was barking. Error in getting promoted or two. The women donned sweatpants and hoodies last week that had a drink brand's logo. This week, Mary and Jen's typical sippy cups were swapped out for a can of that beverage. They mixed in a couple of their favorite flavors from this soda range while they were drinking the brand. Additionally, they were able to include the location of purchase. Fans of Sister Wives questioned whether they were receiving payment for this advertising. Sister Wives, any thoughts Mary may have? The founding matriarch of the Sister Wives group has no plans for this web series. No, it seems like they're winging it more. You may also say that they just run with whatever comes to mind. And that's funny in parts, too. Mary Brown and Jen have both made appearances on the Sister Wives program. Although Jen received a lot of airtime, her spouse was only visible for perhaps 30 seconds. Jen revealed to Mary this week how a fan of Sister Wives identified her hubby. It seems that he enjoyed being regarded as a celebrity. 
However, Jen doesn't appear to be at all interested in becoming a celebrity. Sensual Conversation with Mary and Jen Sullivan Last week, Mary, Jen, and her husband worked around the B&B for a short while. Mary described their attempt to insert a screw into a wall made of concrete. Thus, when Jen's husband and Mary Brown worked on that, Jen couldn't help but listen in on their talk. It began with, is the hole big enough, but went on to include more sentences. It provided Jen more fodder for innuendos, even though they were only talking about the wall construction. So, if you were nearby but unable to see what they were doing, the conversation surrounding the light construction may have seemed a little suggestive. And Jen was having so much fun with this. However, her spouse claimed that this was the reason he didn't spend much time with the two of them. Mary Sorrow over Garrison Brown, Sister Wives Mary Brown's next endeavor is ready to get underway. She plans to launch her new Worthy Up business on Monday, May 6. According to Mary, the message of Worthy Up is that everyone is deserving. She then discussed a fan of Sister Wives who utilized this to explain their grief. Mary then used this to ease her grief over the loss of Garrison Brown. She made the implication that everyone has the right to grieve, just as the fan who is losing a loved one does. Here is an update on Mary Brown's life outside of the TLC series, as of right now. Return here to get the most recent information about Sister Wives. Sister Wives, Mary Brown, who is still mourning her garrison, appearing skinnier than ever as she expands her empire. Sister Wives actress and first wife Mary Brown has prioritized her personal well-being, weight loss, and expanding her business empire since divorcing Cody Brown. Sister Wives actress Mary Brown has been cutting weight and concentrating on expanding her business empire since she ultimately parted up with Cody Brown. Before deciding to end their 32-year marriage, Cody and Mary were married for 32 years. Mary gave birth to their only child together, and she clung to him for far longer than was wise. Cody had been abusing his previous wife for many years by the time she left. To make matters worse, Cody had been clean about his lack of attraction to Mary. Despite their belief in polygamy, Mary experienced too much neglect and humiliation. The Sister Wives Season 18 cast members declared their separation in January 2023. 2014 saw the couple's divorce, allowing Cody to lawfully wed Robin Brown, his fourth wife. They had to get married officially before Cody could adopt Robin's three children from a previous marriage. Up until their relationship ended, Cody and Mary remained spiritually united despite the legalities. Mary has never looked skinnier. She is still grieving. Mary concentrated on her health and well-being after parting ways with Cody. The Sister Wives actress began her weight loss journey by being more active and losing weight. The news of Garrison Brown's untimely demise shocked Mary to her core on March 5, 2025. Cody's son, Garrison, age 25, was born to Janelle Brown, his second wife. He shot himself in the head and was discovered dead at his Flagstaff, Arizona, home. Mary sent a family message on social media a few hours after the news of his passing spread. We regret to inform you of the passing of Robert Garrison Brown, our lovely son. For everyone who knew him, he was a source of happiness. It's unbelievable how much of a hole this loss will leave in our lives. Garrison was like a son to Mary because she had known him all his life and had assisted in raising him. The Brown family was grieved by Garrison's untimely passing, and Mary in particular has become even more emaciated in the wake of his loss. Mary may have been eating less since she's still processing the huge loss. The Mary empire is expanding. From girl boss to sister wife. Even during her multiple marriages with Cody and his other spouses, Mary, whose four-month relationship with Amos Andrews is covered in the video above, has always had an entrepreneurial drive. Over the years, the Browns engaged in a number of commercial endeavors. 
To begin with, the Brown family operated a jewelry company, a clothes store, and becoming sister wives, the story of unconventional marriage, which became a New York Times bestseller in 2012. As her marriage was coming to an end, Mary fulfilled a long-standing ambition by converting her grandmother's ancient home into the quaint Lizzie's heritage in bed and breakfast. Mary's official website claims that she has been actively expanding her empire. Unveiling the Heart is the headline of her website. A trip through Mary's world's layers, and it centers on her commercial endeavors. You may find Mary's business portfolio by scrolling down the page. The website content states, every project is a reflection of Mary's belief in the power of self-worth, from motivational speaking engagements to product lines, and then lists her commercial endeavors. Mary works with Park Lane and LuLaRoe in addition to the B&B, she is also accessible on Cameo. Mary's Relationship History Better Fortune Then Mary has never experienced romantic luck. Despite being married to Cody for 32 years, Mary felt extremely alone during that period. When she started dating a new man soon after splitting from Cody, her chances of finding love looked to improve. Supporters had high hopes for Mary and Amos Andrews' romance. There were strong expectations that Mary and Amos would follow in the footsteps of fellow sister-wife Christine Brown, who had married David Woolley just a few years after divorcing Cody. Sadly, the partnership didn't last long after it started. Mary shared the news of her split on Instagram in February 2024. A portion of the lengthy caption said, Last week, I had to face some hard truths and have some difficult conversations. Mary continued by saying that even though she and Amos had feelings for one another, their relationship would not last. Fans of Sister Wives expressed their support for Mary in the comment area. Yes, girl, love yourself enough to wait for the person who will bring exactly everything you want to the table, wrote a single individual. Your forever love will find you when the time is right, another pledged. Mary continues to lament the garrison. To her, he was like a son. A few weeks subsequent to the untimely demise of Garrison, Mary shared an additional picture of herself with Garrison along with one of her mother. The caption begins with the following, Today, March 26, marks three years since the passing of my beautiful mom and three weeks since the passing of our sweet Garrison. Fans of Sister Wives are aware of Mary's close relationship with both her mother and Garrison. Make the most of each day as it comes, Mary, someone commented in the comment section. One day at a time. Many people are cheering you on. Grief is a myriad of emotions that include despair and anger, feelings of pain, or hopelessness. The side-by-side -side images not only show Mary's deep sorrow but also her weight loss journey because she has lost a significant amount of weight since taking these shots. Mary also states in the caption that grief is a myriad of emotions that include despair and anger, feelings of pain, or hopelessness. Mary seems to be having trouble coping with her loss of garrison. Hopefully, she'll be able to ask for assistance if she needs it. Season 19 of Sister Wives will follow the Brown family throughout Garrison's funeral. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Sister Wives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.